Hello and welcome to another Close Unto One tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be going over HTML forms and PHP get and post variables. So as you can see here I have a basic HTML form. Uh, the data of this form will be sent to get underscore post dot PHP and the method is going to be get which is what we're going to be explaining today. We have one text box called name and one submit button which doesn't have a name uh, and this is how it looks in a browser simply okay onto our PHP page which needs to be saved in our WAMPS www directory for it to be processed correctly uh, also the HTML form page needs to be saved in the same directory for it to be able to pass the information properly so in our get underscore post dot PHP page we are going to set a new variable called name and this is where we're going to retrieve the get variable that was sent via the form so we do a dollar underscore capital GET open square brackets uh, here you can use double quotes or single quotes I'm going to use single quotes and we'll type name uh, the reason we've typed name there is because that is what the text box was called that holds the information that we want to retrieve um, and we can close the quotes and square brackets obviously just setting a variable isn't going to give us much of a result so we are going to echo on the page as well so echo name and we'll save that so now if we go into our internet browser uh, open up our HTML form and if I type my name in here And we click submit query as you can see we have Kles Hunter 1 printed on the page uh, and up here in the URL bar you might have noticed that we have a question mark after the actual file name and then name which is the name of our form control if you remember um, with the value of Kles Hunter 1 uh, then that is printed on the page via our echo statement in our PHP file so back to the PHP code we can obviously do a few more things with this so we could concatenate that into a sentence so we could put welcome so it will say welcome in your name if we save that um, and then go back submit it again it will say welcome Kles Hunter 1 so obviously there's quite a few things you could do so that is the get variable. The get variable is where the variable is stored in the URL. Uh, so you could, for example, send this link to somebody and it would show exactly the same thing no matter who views the page. Uh, the other variable that I talked about right at the beginning was the post variable. The post variable is slightly different. Um, so firstly, we need to go to our HTML form and change the method to post here. That is all we need to do for our HTML form. We just have to save it as well. Um, now back to our PHP page. We don't really need to edit a lot here either. We just need to change this to post. Um, so all that has done is just change the way that the data is sent and change how we catch the data on our receiving page. So now if we go back to our form here, let's make sure we refresh it so we're not getting a cached copy and if we submit the query again you see it still says welcome Kles Hunter 1 but what differs from the get variable is the fact that the post variable is not stored in the URL so for example this would be useful for things like login forms uh, and other such things like that where you wouldn't want for example your username and password stored in plain text uh, visible to everybody that's standing behind you in the URL bar. So I hope this has um, helped you with your PHP post and get variables. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Um, I'll be going on to a few different more PHP topics soon.